Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to the American Gigolo Updates and Family Gather Quest for Stuff. We're going to start with Jesus and Black Jesus. Let's see if we get some claims to start before we actually kind of go into the video and, and do more stuff with the actual update. It'd be kind of fun to do. So let's see, clams. No, I'm sorry. Hey, hello clams. Two clams right there. Believe it or not, I pop in every hundred years or so. Okay, I cool. actually this is the first time ever I've actually gotten clams by doing this like in a video for you guys. It was Black Jesus. I rode into town. Oh, I got nothing ass. with Black Jesus. Yo mama's ass. That's how I get my clams, by the way. I do these two characters, which can be up to four clams a day, and then you watch the ads and stuff, and it adds up really, really fast. But anyway, this is the American Gigolo update. This is one of the costume skins, at least I think it is a costume skin, Gigolo Quagmire. This will be the first character that you will get. And then the second one will be later down the road will be Pimp Peter. But let me show you exactly where I'm at with Quagmire. Doing pretty good. Just have to get one more of the boots. So how this works is we go to the inn, Dick's Inn, and there's a bunch of rooms. There's a soccer mom's room, the honeymoon suites, the indulgence suite, and then finally there's Charmise's room. And this costs 200 clams, and then you just basically kind of keep doing it over and over and over again. And eventually you get a chance of getting her. So it's not exactly set in stone to getting the character. You do have to do a bit more work to get them, but chances are it probably can't be that difficult to get. But if you did look at the uh, Quagmire costume, you noticed there was more boots to go. Honeymoon Suite, there's the boots right there. White high heels. Let's do this. Let's do this. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I was thinking I could clear some of the gigolos, but whatever. Oh, okay. Ten seconds to wait. Seven, six, five, four, three. No, we got matches though. Matches is good. This is the first time I've actually gotten matches. Believe it or not. Wow. All right, so we're we're gonna do it again. But you'll notice, obviously, if I go back to it, you know, I'm missing one. So we've got to click more of the gigolos. I think it's like every four hours they pop up roughly, and eight of them pop up. So just, just a guesstimation. It's around four hours anyway is what it seems. But eight do pop up. So that's three. I think that was three. That's four. We'll keep going. Let me zoom out a lot more. Come on. Five. Damn. Nothing. Six. And another one. We need a couple more, I think. Eagle Eye KC. Come on, where are the other ones? There's another one there. I, I think that's seven? Or is that eight? It's seven or eight. Let's just double check. The way you can double check, actually, is if you go back here and you click the owned right down below. Ah, see, it's at the very top, so you know there's still more. Okay, there we go. That's probably the final one. That's probably the final one. All right. Let's just double check. It is, and we've got three chances of getting this, which is great. I don't okay, know. Go. I don't know if you can actually get more than one. I haven't. But we're now in three seconds. No, well, still nothing. Well, I got a couple more chances, so I'm not too worried about it. I should be able to get it. Not that I would be worried, but well, I'm not above manual. I guess labor. wait is a bad a bad way of saying it. Um, I'm not. I'm not worried. I don't know. There we go. We got the boots. Very cool. All right. Well, welly, welly, welly. We're not actually going to continue with the honeymoon suites. Oh, this is six. Never mind. I was going to say, hey, let's hold off and wait, but we can't do that. Never mind. All right, let's unlock Quagmire. Giggle Quagmire. Here we go. Giggity, giggity. Can you tell that purse is pleather? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Pleather is, is fake leather, by the way. Hello. 
All right, so it is a costume for Quagmire. We've got Take a Shame Shower, which is animated, Stand on Street Corner, Work Nights, oh boy, Hide from Pimp, so Hide from Peter, Cover Up Bruises, oh no, Work Weekends, Perfect his, perfect his pole dance. Blah, no speaky. You know what I'm actually going to do? I think I will do the animated quest, Take a Shame Shower, because the gigolos take up the four hours, or roughly anyway, before they pop up again, and I need three more of the, of the things in order to send Quagmire away in the room, so it's going to line up pretty perfectly. So we're going to do Take a Shame Shower. Okay. Oh, hold on. Um, I can actually still move it, too. What the heck? Wee! I've never been able to do this before. I guess I held it down right as it popped up. Do do do. Alright, so let's see this now. So he drops his purse. He's got a hose somehow. Where did the hose come from? I don't know. That's his shower. He's trying to wash it all off. I don't know if it's working or not. Okay, that's still important. You gotta wash that as well. Now he's having a drink. And the car just ran over him. That's fantastic. What a way to go, huh? I don't actually know what happens. The car is in the way. Get out of the way, car. Oh, he's... I don't know. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's ditch. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna have to go through this whole thing again. Okay. Alright, so he's gonna have a drink. Now what actually happens? Uh... Oh, okay. So he just he goes in the little ass ball. That's what I call it, by the way. It's an ass ball. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's pretty cool. What, what, what is his quest for, though? What's up? We need to make our undercover operation look like it's a real deal. Where should I start advertising our services? I'd start by putting our phone number in the bathroom stalls. I actually got my last job at Arby's by calling a stall number. Very smart advertising. Oh, it's this, it's this thing, okay. For some reason I thought it was something else, I don't know why, but he does always usually have, or characters usually do have side quests and stuff, so. This is it here, I'm actually taking the shower already, so that's pretty cool. What's up, Jerome fool? will do Jerome as well, two hours. Ah. Oh yeah, you look if you look at the sidebar, I was able to get all the quests done. All the side quests and stuff, for all the characters and stuff, so... It's a good idea to keep on top of it as well, because if you don't, then it gets too cluttered, and... You know, I think if you have too many, it can cause problems, so... That's what I've read, I've never, honestly, had problems myself. But was Quagmire done? Pimp Peter Outfit. And let's see, so I've got one of seven feathers. And you get this from the very first room, I believe. Two of six of the gold chain. These are also extra rare, same with the feather. You get them from the second room, so the room we just did. And then four of 18 of the gold canes. And Bonnie, did I not put Bonnie on the quest? No, she's still gone, okay. So Bonnie's at uh, four so far she's collected. And then the rings you get from the the room with Quagmire, obviously. But I have to get three more of the of the things, the, the pills, and then I'll be able to at least do that. But there is another thing as well. The gold chain also has Throne of Cans. And I couldn't get that because of the matches. And I think I've got four? Four of them? Oh, I have six. Okay, so I have actually gotten some matches before. I guess I didn't realize it, but... I still need two more of these. You don't need to get this, but I mean, I mean, what else are you going to spend your matches on? Unless you like something else, but, you know, these obviously go a long way in trying to get these, because you need 18 of them, of the canes, and I only have four, so if you only do Bonnie, it's going to take forever to do, right? So, unless, unless you can do a room, but I mean, only Charmise's room can, and you got to spend 200 clams, so it's not really worth it, but I mean, here are some of the other items as well. Golden Smile Dentistry. You know, squeaky clean laundry mat, uh, bling bling king jewelers. I mean, all the stuff is just if you like the building, I guess, go void. The Throne of Canes, it looks awesome, but it also is very important in drops as well. So, you know, we've got the main quest line as well, but this is this is absolutely not even needed to do. Uh, you just have to get up to part number three, I believe, because that opens up absolutely everything in terms of the drops and stuff. Because if you don't do the main quest line, certain drops will not appear in the rooms. For the different characters, you have to get to a certain point in the main quest line, and then the little quest that'll pop up, for example, like this, will pop up, and this will pop up, and when they do, 
then the items that are needed for this character will pop up in the rooms in the end. So get up to about part number three or so of the main quest line here, and then that's it. Stop. You really have no reason to go any further that I know of. So anyway, let me know exactly where you guys are at so far. I think most people are probably going to be able to get at least the Gigolo Quagmire. It seems very easy enough to get. The Peter Kashi might be a little bit more difficult, especially because of the drops, as I said, but... You know, just keep at it if you care or not, or just take this time to do other stuff in the game if you're still a little bit behind. And, you know, there's supposed to be a big major event that's going to be popping up soon after this, so this could be a good downtime for people if they don't care about this little mini update. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.